This is V from a Canadian RVer. Today what I'd like to show you is a TRC Surge Guard RV Power Protection System. And what this is, this is their brand new model of the 35550. And this unit of course doesn't have to be wired to the pedestal, it's wired inside your RV. And then it protects the RV from faulty power in the park. It automatically resets on power restoration, shuts off the power when the following is present on open ground, an open neutral if the voltage drops below 102 or then goes up to 132 volts. It also has multi-mode surge protection and it also has the new surge failure, the miswired pedestal, reverse polarity and elevated ground voltages. So again, this is the actual unit. It's a brand new one from TRC and they're in Clearwater, Florida. So it's made in the United States, which is great for service and support and parts. Also what I had uh, brought in, this is the remote power monitor LCD display, uh, display by SurgeGuard and it's the model 40300. And what this does is you wire this inside your coach and it has the capability of telling you what the current draw is, what the voltage is, and if there's any faults, so you can actually see them in the fault window. So it's a real nice device to have inside and you're always uh, told of uh, what the power and how much current your, your RV is drawing. So again, I uh, highly recommend both of them, uh, great products from uh, TRC. And uh, now I'll show you how I prepared my RV to install both this of these. This is what I did to prepare for the install of the TRC Surge Guard Protector. As you see from the top part, that's the input and that just comes down and follows around into my uh, 60 amp uh, pedestal cable, which is about 30 feet. And then what I did on the bottom, as you can see, uh, that's the return or the, the load side and I've taken the same piece of uh, number six cap tire and I moved it across and tied it into my quick disconnect switch and then of course from there it goes back up into the automatic transfer relay generator and power switch and then of course feeds on into the RV. What that little white wire does right there, that's the control wire that I installed and I fed it all the way through uh, the bottom of the RV into a plastic piping and took it right up into the control console. So that's uh, the control cable. So as you can see I've added a piece of wood in the back to mount my TRC and uh, I'll show you when it's all done. Here's what it looks like uh, totally installed. We've been able to support all the wires down the side. There's the same feed wire. There is the uh, the bottom feed of the uh, number six uh, cap tire. As I said it goes off into that uh, control box or the disconnect box and um, there's the unit fully installed right there. Right now I've just put the power back on and you can see where the uh, surge guard is now in its uh, warm up or testing mode. It actually stays down for about 90 seconds and uh, you'll see the red light flashing. The surge protection is uh, no protection when lit, so when it's off so that we're getting surge protection. And of course the caution light is flashing for the minute or so that it takes to test uh, all the circuitry. In a minute we'll see that the actual power light will come on and uh, we'll be fully powered. I'll even go inside and show you the control monitor system. There we go now with all the lights it's gone through its uh, 90 second uh, test and you can see the main power light is on and everything's working perfectly. What I did for the inside of my RV, what you're looking at right now is the Bogart monitoring battery system. And right beside it, I've actually cut a hole in the control panel uh, of this uh, cabinet here. And as you can see, it's ready to mount the unit. There's the control wire that comes up from the back of the coach from the TRC. And uh, we're ready to do the install. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. So here we are on the inside again. And everything's powered up. You can see the voltages as it's monitoring it. And also the current of each leg. And uh, it's working really well. And there again is the Bogart monitoring system monitoring my batteries. And right now, it's, it's, since the power's back on, it's charging at 13.8 uh, volts uh, DC. And uh, that's the surge guard inside panel. Totally recommend this product. Real great stuff.